Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ambal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics. We are going to teach the subject in Tamil. Lecture number 1.6 in the chapter 1, the topic is Zeroth Law of Thermodynamics. So, we are going to study about the Zeroth Law of Thermodynamics temperature and we take uh, problems in the in the zeroth law of thermodynamics or temperature calculation. The learning outcome for this lecture at the end of the lecture the student will be able to state zeroth law of thermodynamics, rewrite the temperature scales and solve problems in the temperature. Zeroth law of thermodynamics. So, look at the in the diagram paranga. There are three systems. System A, System B and System C. So, what is zero law of thermodynamics? And there is a word, equilibrium. We have equilibrium equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium, mechanical equilibrium and chemical equilibrium. So, equilibrium condition. The zero law of thermodynamics states, states when a body A is in thermal equilibrium with a body B and also separately with a body C. The system A or body A, A and B, they are in thermal equilibrium. What is thermal equilibrium? Temperatures are equal. So, A would be temperature, B would be temperature equal. And A would be temperature, B would be temperature equal. C would be temperature equal. A will be temperature, B will be temperature equal. A will be temperature, C will be temperature equal. Independently, separately. Then B and C are in thermal equilibrium with each other. So A temperature, B temperature equal. A temperature, C temperature equal. Apo B temperature, C temperature equal. That is what the zeroth law of thermodynamics. When a body A is in thermal equilibrium with the body B and body C separately. Then B and C are in thermal equilibrium. So, this is the zero law of thermodynamics. We have to remember. So, this is the important law in thermodynamics. First law, zero law of thermodynamics is the important law. Zero law of thermodynamics was first formulated by R. H. Fowler in the year 1931. At that time, first and second law of thermodynamics were already existed. So, it is designated as zero law of thermodynamics. Ye on the zero law of thermodynamics pair. 1931 Fowler, the scientist, the zero law of thermodynamics formulate pantra. He is only stating, giving the zero law of thermodynamics. But on the same time, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics already irk. So, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics, third law of thermodynamics, they were invented in the year 1870s. So, that is 1931 in the law, Fowler proposed it. But the scientists, they think that they want that this should be the first. But already there is a first law. So, that is the zero law of thermodynamics. It is a basis for temperature measurement. So, temperature measurement is basic on the zero law of thermodynamics. Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of your body. The instrument used to measure the temperature is thermometer. So, thermometer, we know it is very familiar, common temperature measuring instrument. All the doctors are using thermometer to measure the body temperature. Thermometer uses thermoelectric property like height of mercury column. Thermometric properties like height of mercury column to measure the temperature. So, so zero law of thermodynamics. So, from the zero law, after defining the zero law of thermodynamics, there is a property emerging. There is a property identified that is called as temperature. So, the thermodynamic property temperature is identified only from the zero law of thermodynamics. Thermal equilibrium concept. There are various types of temperature measuring instruments and the thermometric properties. Constant volume gas thermometer. So, the property used is pressure. Constant pressure gas thermometer. The property used to measure the temperature is volume. Alcohol and mercury in glass thermometer. This is very common. Alcohol or mercury in glass thermometer. Doctors are using mercury in glass thermometer or alcohol in a glass thermometer. Length is the measuring parameter. Electric resistance thermometer. Electrical resistance is the measuring parameter. Thermocouple, electromotive force is the measuring parameter. 
radiation parameter intensity of radiation that is the measuring parameter so the property which is used to measure pressure volume length electrical resistance electromotive force and intensity of radiation these are all the properties used to measure the temperature of different thermometer so among the uh, six thermometer so alcohol or mercury in glass thermometer is very popular electrical resistance thermometer is also popular in engineering thermocouple is very popular in the engineering radiation parameter is also very popular in engineering engineering temperature measurement in various industries the various scales of temperature measurements are celsius fahrenheit kelvin and rankine so the very popular scales are celsius fahrenheit and kelvin so this is the temperature scale fahrenheit celsius and kelvin ipo inge paathina ka there are two reference point first reference point the bottom reference point is freezing point of water and the top reference point is boiling point of water so temperature in between freezing point fahrenheit scale la vande it is 32 degree fahrenheit celsius scale la vande 0 degree celsius kelvin scale la 273.15 kelvin so freezing point of water is 32 degree fahrenheit 0 degree celsius and 273.15 kelvin boiling point of water in the fahrenheit scale 212 degree fahrenheit celsius scale or centigrade scale 100 degree celsius kelvin 373.15 kelvin so this is the three different scales popular scales used for measuring the temperature now write the equation for there are all the four, all the three degree rankine equal to degree fahrenheit plus 459.67 degree fahrenheit equal to 1.8 into degree celsius plus 32 degree celsius equal to fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 kelvin degree kelvin scale equal to 0 degree celsius plus 273.15 or 273 point so 273 simply 273 so this relationship you have to remember particularly kelvin scale equal to celsius scale plus 273 or 0.15 or you can uh, sometimes we are missing we are skipping 0.15 so celsius kelvin scale equal to kelvin temperature temperature in kelvin equal to temperature in celsius plus 273 that you have to remember and uh, we have a question <laughs> read the question when two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with each third body they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other the statement is called when two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with each with the third body third body they are all they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other so the statement is called as zero to law of thermodynamics the property identified from the by the zero to law of thermodynamics you check the answer so if your answer is temperature you are correct example we take one example temperature of a body is measured be to be 30 degree celsius determine temperature in rankine kelvin and fahrenheit So in Fahrenheit scale, nine by five that is one point eight degree Celsius plus thirty two. So nine by five into thirty plus thirty equal to eighty six degree Fahrenheit. So thirty degree Celsius equal to eighty six degree Fahrenheit. Thirty degree Celsius in Kelvin, Kelvin equal to zero degree Celsius plus two seventy three. So thirty plus two seventy three equal to three hundred three Kelvin. So thirty degree Celsius equal to three hundred three Kelvin. Degree Rankine, degree Fahrenheit plus four fifty nine point six seven. So degree Fahrenheit equal to 86 degree Fahrenheit plus 459.67 equal to 545.67 degree Rankine. So 30 degree Celsius equal to 545.67 degree Rankine. The example number two: the average temperature of the atmosphere in the world is approximated as a function of altitude by the relationship T atmosphere equal to 288.15 minus 6.5 Z. Where, where T atmosphere is the temperature of the atmosphere in Kelvin, and Z Z is the altitude in kilometer. With the zero is equal to Z at the sea level. So determine the average temperature of the atmosphere outside the airplane that uh, that is cruising at an altitude of twelve thousand meter. So temperature atmosphere temperature equal to two eight eight point one five minus six point five into Z. So Z is in Kelvin kilometer that you have to remember. Z is in kilometer. You have to calculate the temperature at a height of twelve thousand meter, which is twelve kilometer. So, 
is it equal to 12,000 meter equal to 12 kilometer? So, the atmosphere temperature at an altitude of 12 kilometer, T atmosphere equal to 288.15 minus 6.5 Z, so which is equal to 288.15 minus 6.5 into 1. into 12 equal to 210.15 Kelvin. So, that is the temperature of the atmosphere at a height of 12 kilometer from the sea level. We stop here. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any queries, on, you can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture on thermodynamics. Until then, bye.